here to talk about Andre Berlo. Andre Berlo, let's see. Coming up, fighting this guy. Uh, you know, he got a fight coming up in um, November, I think. I think November, I'm not for sure. If it is November, could be wrong. Let's see. Yeah, it is November. Yeah, November the 27th. Um, that's going to be a good fight. But I, I mean, he's going to win anyway because um, in my eyes, you know what I'm saying, he got a lot of speed, oh, I mean, power with his punches. I mean, he got that knockout, TKO knockout power. You know what I mean? I mean, I love his speed. You know what I mean? His speed is like fast. You know what I mean? Like Floor Mayweather drinks. No, you know, once it hits you, you know what I mean, you already got a red mark on your shit, you know what I mean? But, uh, I want, I want to see him fight, you know, more names, you know what I'm saying? Like, Miguel Cotto, you know, move up a little bit of weight, fight Miguel Cotto. Uh, I want to see him fight, um, Paul Williams. Um, I want to see him fight, what's that young fighter? You know, that young Mexican fighter that was fighting all the sugar... Shame and more card. Yeah, I would have seen him fight him as well. I think it's Sarger at something like that. I can't pronounce his name. But uh Yeah, I'd rather see him fight a little bit more before he get even the mega fight, you know what I mean? In my eyes. But uh he's a he's a good fighter. His footwork is, you know, not all that, you know what I mean? It's okay. He clinched a lot though. I tell you one thing, that motherfucker clinched a whole lot though. I guess he do that to take, you know, I guess to calm you down a little bit, you know what I mean? Because I, I, I believe he runs out of breath a lot, you know what I mean? He to throw a punch, I mean, the only thing about him, if he see you hurt, the one thing I like about him, he see, if he see you hurt or stung a little bit, he'll follow up very fast with that, you know what I mean? And a lot of guys, you know, get knocked the fuck out because when he see you hurt and he already, you know, throwing them, power punches after you, there's nothing you can do but be on the defensive side, you know what I mean? But, uh, Andre Brother, he's a hell of a good fighter, you know what I mean? But uh, I, can, I, I, can, I, I can believe he can get knocked the fuck out, I believe that. And, and this fight's coming up, do I see him getting knocked the fuck out? Nah, I don't see him getting knocked the fuck out, I just see him, you know, basically taking control, dominating the fight, you know what I mean? But they need to put him in some big names, you know what I mean? Uh, let me see. I mean, let me see here. If if Marco Vito beat Manny Pacquiao, I I I'd rather see him fight um Marco Vito. See what type of challenge that would be for him. Now he may knock the fuck out of Marco Vito. <laughs> now he may stop the fuck out of him. Uh, him and Paul Williams would be a good fight, but I don't know what happened. You know what I mean? I can't think of nobody else out there. Uh, the welterweight, you know, class is full of a lot of, you know, uh, un, I mean, you know, a lot of, uh, known people in that class, you know what I mean? So, and a super, you know, middleweight, a lot of known, you know what I mean? Uh, so, whoever they put him in, you know, like, to me... He's a good fighter. I believe he can be a, you know, a, a big, big superstar in the, you know, in the uh, boxing. You know what I mean? So, uh, he's doing big things. You know, he's from Haiti. He's 27 years old. Still, still very, very young. With speed. You know what I mean? So, uh, the fight that's coming up, I call it knockout. All the many knockout. Probably in the fifth or sixth round. All the many knockout. RJ Berger. I rate, subscribe, comment, do whatever you do. And I'll holler at you. Alright.